All right, yes. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome after a long hiatus back to the armchair. Um, as always, I'm Logan, joined by my partner in crime, Avi. Avi, how are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? It feels like an eternity. Yeah? It feels it's like, like yeah. <laughs> it, it really does. Uh, I mean, I, I must apologize to everyone. Thank you who, to everyone who are still with us. Uh, thank you for not unfollowing us. <laughs> I hope at least. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been uh, maybe, I think we've had a lot of stuff uh, in the last few weeks, you know. Um, right, ranging all the way from COVID to mm. um, personal work. family issues and work and work. this and that. But, you know. Finally, we are back, and I am very pleased to say that we are back with a bang. You know, first of all, uh, as you can see, I'm literally on an armchair, you know, with some special pillows and all this. As always, Arsenal, uh, Avi's got his Arsenal kit behind him, you know. And most importantly of all, we've got a fantastic guest. Um, I, I think we're really excited to talk to him about a range of issues. Uh, so... Without further ado, I'd love to welcome Pape Diakite. How are you, sir? Welcome uh, to the armchair. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> we, are, we are really excited so I'm glad, to have I'm you. I'm glad here. to be here, too. Yeah, I'm glad to be here, too. And to be, to be the host for this, for this armchair. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, I mean, we'll, I mean, we'll have a nice chat. Oh, yeah. Looking yeah, forward to that, for sure. For sure, definitely. definitely. Yeah. You, you know, we've got so many questions from the fans. In fact, one fan I think gave like five questions. You know, he really wants to know a lot about <laughs> about you and and you know your football career. So yeah, I, I let Avi take the first question. Yeah, for sure. yeah. Okay, Pape. Uh, you know, it's it's great to have you on the show. So the first question is going to be simple. You know, you want to know a little bit about yourself. We know you play for Tungano, but how you yeah. started your career, how you got into football and the JD six steps. Okay. Well, uh, born in Senegal, grew up, went to school, all of that. So then the, I was very good at school, actually. So my dad uh, was a teacher, you know, a geography teacher. So which is so we just grew up like playing, right? We just grew up playing f like football in the street, barefoot. Like your dad will never, your dad don't even have like money to buy cleats. So you, you don't like, you don't even have the, the courage to ask, you know, uh, and then born very like born, not in a, like in a, with the rich, in a rich family and stuff. So just starting from the street school, street school, then uh, start playing for the street, you know, for the street. Like, for example, they say you play for Shah Alam or you play uh -huh. for, for okay, this street, right? We play, they give you like 40, like $40, $35. So you just try to make it to, to give some to your mom, your dad, you know, just, uh, just for blessing as, as our culture and our religion, right? Then from that, you know, I was, I was playing like maybe midfield, midfield defensive. Yeah, then went to junior, to junior, uh, a club in Senegal, mm -hmm. junior, in 2011. No, 10, actually, sorry, 10. Then they, then they, like, bring me to the senior team to play, like, because the midfielder, they, they were injury. Then from that, I did my game. From that, I went to another team, a first division team. Then from there... I got selected in a nation, national team youth under 18, under 20, then under 23. So we've been traveling around around the world a bit. Then that's how one team saw me in Holland, a team from first division in Slovakia called Ice Trenching. So that's how I got into pro, which is very was very hard at the beginning, but you know, if if there is no hard road, there is no there's no sweetness at the end. Uh, Pape, one follow-up question. Uh, I remember the 2002 World Cup vividly. Senegal did very well in that tournament. Uh, did yeah. that actually inspire you to be a footballer? The progress of the team in that year did they, you know, inspire you to like say, "I want to be a footballer." You were 10 years old at that time, so was that an inspiration De behind your definitely, definitely was a boost, mm. but not a uh, 
not not from that thing, but like the thing gave me also a boost, like a huge boost because uh, it was a huge thing first time in the World Cup, and the team were doing well with the with the player we have and stuff. So that was just a boost, like was a real boost too for me and for many many other footballer. Nice. All right. So Pape, the next question, in fact, the immediately comes from the fans, lah. So. Uh, one of your fans is asking, how long did it take you to consider or decide to play in Malaysia? Well, uh, how long? I would say less than a week to decide. Hmm. Actually, it's, it's a long story, right? So I will, I will share this today because many people don't know, you know, but I'm glad to share you here. Please do. Actually, <laughs> 2000... 2000 19 or 18, I was supposed to come here in Tangram. Oh, okay. I was still in America, I think. Yeah. Then my agent, the same agent I, I work with, so told me that Tangram, I, I send your profile. They want you, but they have two teams. But they're considering you to come to play for the second team. I told him, no, I cannot do that. I cannot leave America like MLS, then, then come. But actually, right? Then, 2021, I think, 2021 was like COVID thing in Vietnam, stopped the league. I went back home for a few months, right? Then I, I, I really had offer, offers in America and East of Europe to go. So I, I already, my agent already settled with the, all the details. The coaches called me. I set up, I told them, I told them in three days, I will sign, I will sign the paper, the play contract. That was end of November, December, right? So then, then I woke up just like one morning, just like saw his email. He's like, hey, you, you're not going to believe this. This thing came out and this is an offer. I'm like, well, in my, in my mind, I say, oh, okay. I, I always wanted to play in a, in a Muslim, like where like people like consider Muslim as a big, as a big thing. So I think I would do it. Then it went just quick, quick, less than a week decision. Then, yeah. Okay, now that you've, you've made that quick decision, you're playing in Malaysia now. So, this is another simple question. You know, how has your first season been so far in the Malaysian League? You played in Super League, FA Cup win all the way to the final, and now you're playing in the Malaysia Cup. So, how has that uh, experience been so far for you? Wonderful so far. Uh, uh, grateful for that and blessed, you know can say more and still still working for more and hungry for more but but as a first season i'm very blessed very blessed for for what we achieve as a team and how did it go yeah okay all right so um papi the next question actually i have a feeling we've got the same guy asking two questions that's how good the question is um <laughs> so one one muhammad on youtube and i think on twitter as well has asked what's your opinion about the league in general um what things do you want to improve in the league what my opinion about the Malaysian? yeah the Malaysian league is, is all right i would say it's okay it's okay if you compare to some other league maybe in Asia, right? But there is always things to improve in life. There's always things to improve. Either the league, either as a player, as a, you know, whatever work it is, there's always things to improve, you know? So I think that is a kind of fragile, fragile question. You know, you, you can answer to some things. Some people can say it in like different level, you know, but there's always things to improve. You know, always. But is is a, it, like is okay? It. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to play it, and hopefully, will end like it will. It will go well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, the, I think uh, one also had a f few follow up questions as well. Uh, I mean, Trenganu did very very well after you know the, the the COVID pandemic kind of put a little bit of a wrench in their start. You know, it was a bit difficult, but they, you played so well. And in the end, ended up finishing second, Thank right? You. So, yeah, it was so, so good. So, Nafuzi's role in forming a strong squad. Uh, one is asking, what do you think of the coach? And, you know, 
does he deserve to remain at Terengganu? Obviously, the answer is yes. But you know, what do you think of your coach? Uh, like a great coach, like to as a like in the in the Malaysian league, I consider him as a as a as a great coach, as a local, as a as a as a Malaysian citizen. For me, like great coach, like help player to improve every time, like every day, like details every day. You know, have to improve. You know, have to have to improve, and then always like trying to make us like work more you know like what i appreciate is always you know there is like details to fix no matter what there's always detail to fix it is me it is other player for me is uh, and then for me like it, it that's my personal opinion right i'm not the one who decide but for me of course based on football if you're just talking about football just based about football like statistic automatically yes mine says yes to that you know but after there is so many things behind that you know depends to himself and some other thing that people decide you know but just a tunnel as a player as a player for from like what he did this year until now definitely yes yeah. okay my you know, question you know the, like you know sorry, you know so you know like it's a uh, coaches sometimes need time Coaches need time, players need time, no matter what, right? No matter what, you know. So it's after depends on what the team are looking for, you know. The team himself. Right. Uh, okay, Pape, this season Tangano have decided to go full on African in terms of you know signing uh, foreign players. So uh, this season they have signed you as a centre back. Uh, Habib Harun is playing in midfield, even though he, he has Barini passport, he's also of Nigerian descent. And then Kepa Sherman is a striker, Cheche Kipre is the striker. You know, this is a question that I've always thought of, you know, uh, because we know African players, the vibe is totally different. It's all about playing good football, hardworking, and all that. So, how is it like working with them? And every day, is there like any dance or, you know, lots of singing going on within, within you guys and all that? That's for sure, one hundred percent. That's that that is in our blood. There is dancing. The the DJ is the DJ is Habib, Habib and oh, okay. uh, and Cheche Kipre. Okay. Then the the dancer also is him is Habib and Cheche. They start and then Kepa, Shitembe, me like we follow. You know, there is there is a strong, there is a strong like it's natural, right? It's natural. You know, depends to. It's, it's easy to connect. It's easy to tell each other what we need, what we need to lead, to lead and to show example on the field, out of the field. It's very important, you know, for for me. Is, is, you know, when I first came, I saw all of them, you know, Africans, you know. I say, wow, okay. So, you know, sometimes we, we speak, you know, we speak to each other. Hey, today, no, not good. We, we need to do this. We need to do this. They blame me in the game. I I, they correct me, I would say, so correct me, I correct them, we push each other because we know what we, where we came from, you, we know where we came from, we know, we know the road we are, like we are on, like, always need to fight, you know, always fight, like, no matter what, yeah. Okay, follow-up question for me, I mean, uh, you know, Malaysian League has a history of, you know, signing lots of African players, what makes them different you know why do clubs always look to sign african players is it because of you know the work rate or what makes african players different from the rest when it comes to you know because a lot of them are playing in france euro i mean in european countries asian countries even now in the north america so what makes them special well you're talking overall right overall, overall. yes Overall, first of all, I think there is a genetic strength, like a genetic natural strength that is in us, a genetic, right? So then, and there is a, a kind of power that also I think we're just born like that. It's given, right? So, <laughs> you know, every, every continent or every race have their, like, you know, 
other ones are more smarter than this ones. This one are like skillful. This one have power. I, I mean, you know, if you look at, if you look at, I will give, I'll give you an example. When I play in Belgium, right? Most of most of my teammates they were like Congolese, uh, like South Africa, like uh, Gabon. You know, all of them. You know, there's just like, I mean, if teams sign sign all kind of player, so they know what they need from each one. Right. And for me, what I can answer to that question is there is a strength that we are born with, which is can be can be helpful for for any team. All right. So, Pape, um, you know, when you look at Terengganu and when we watch Terengganu, it's so lovely to watch the way you guys play the possession football, the intricate, you know, work between you guys. Now, I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, it's not easy. It's very easy to watch, but it's not easy to do. You know, uh, can you tell us about the training? Do you have to change your playing style, and how is that as a player? As a player? Uh, very like, very good to say it, and very nice to hear. It, you know, very nice to hear it. It's like uh, I will give you an example. It's like you say you go to the dentist, you have pain on your teeth, right? When you go to the dentist to fix it, it's very painful. <laughs> it's very okay. painful. Once it's finished, the smile is wonderful, right? how it is very trust me trust me we don't we don't en you enjoy it but you it's like something else. like the training is is all it's all with ball mm -hmm. you, you hear me yes, yes we hear you. Uh, sorry yeah you broke up a bit but yeah, yeah. Can, can. it's okay i'm like i'm like it's as you said it's easy to watch mm -hmm. but it's not easy to do <laughs> because first of all, training is is all ball, all ball with like Nafuzi, all tactic like which I love me I personally, huh. which I love first. Even though it's not before I came here, but it's it's like I love to play. I love to play. I love to 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 have the ball. Mm -hmm. So then, when you come in a team that they train with the ball, it's all with the ball. It's tactical. It's like headache. It's like you know some sometimes we have to repeat some things like ten times. To, to, right. to try to make it perfect. Can you hear me? Yes, we, yeah. Can, we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, then 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 after that we have to we have to try to to bring that up in the games, you know what I mean? If one player if one player miss is not in a good position, we can know it, all of us. Is the plan go wrong. So we all need to be in the position that the coach want. And keep moving, right? You know, so it's, it's all along the way. You know, at the beginning, I think it wasn't easy. You know, new player came, so you have to adjust. You have to do, but like you know, the way the more we go, the more we know each other more. And mm -hmm. and that's it. We're still working on it. We're still working on it. For me, there is still a lot to to make perfect and to improve. All right. I mean, for the rest of the league, that's quite scary to hear. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, I, I, Pape has frozen oh, for a while. Okay, never mind, never mind. Uh, we hope that he'll be back soon. I mean, Avi, uh, mm. while he, he returns, um, mm. can you tell us a bit about as like a as a pundit, as an analyst, right? What's so special about Nafuzi Ball? Nafuzi Ball, as we all know, he likes to resort to modern tactical play, which is to hold on to the ball for a long time to ensure that, you know, they have a domination of the game and create lots of chances. And this season, we have seen... At first, it was a struggle in the beginning of the season because he changed all the foreigners. And, you know, when you talk about system, it, it is going to take time for you, for them to adapt. But as time, as you know, as the league progressed, you know, we saw, you know, improved performances and, you know... Thanks to what Nafuzi is doing, we are seeing lots of players now, you know, doing well. One of them being Faisal Halim, who has, you know, uh, adjusted. I mean, not to say adjusted, but, you know, I think the system just fits him well. You know, he's been sensational this season. And then, uh, you know, Kapa is doing well in the Malaysia Cup. Cheche Kipre, who is 34 years old, but he plays like a 25-year-old. You know, in such a system which demands lots of intensity, pressing, movement, that guy is able to cope with it shows a lot that, you know, Nafuzi knows what he's doing with the players that he has right now. 
you know and it is my hope that Tangano will continue to improve i do not know whether coach nafis is going to stay on or not but if he stays i do believe that Tangano is what it takes to be challenge top teams like jdt in the next one or two years yeah hello guys so i'm back <laughs> you're back you're back okay yeah <laughs> this this one was my wifi this one was oh, my okay. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. At, at least Apple now guy. you know we, we the fans will feel how it feels when you are not there you know you have to listen to us uh, so at least now you are back <laughs> so so what i was saying is yeah. it's not easy it's not easy is a work and we're still improving and we're still looking to to make it to make it even like sweeter for you guys to watch right right um i'm yeah. going to kind of uh, put two uh, questions together so the first question is who is tranganu's best player which i think is a very difficult un- question to answer and also the second question is do any of your teammates have the potential to go abroad uh, uh, yeah few well, few have it to be honest Oh, come on. Don't tell me why you're here. Sorry. Can you hear us now? Is that me again or you guys? <laughs> no, I think it's you. <laughs> I think it's you, bro. Hold on, 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 hold on. Hey, one sec, huh? one sec. Let me, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Let no me change worries, place. No let me change place. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Okay. I'll just change like, I'll just go to the living room. It was noisy because of my best friend. But okay, <laughs> I'll go there. Sorry, I'm eh? sorry, eh? you, you, no problem, bro. Take your time. <laughs> to all the viewers, this is live TV. I mean, not TV. I'm sorry. This is live, live, live uh, stream. This is live yeah, streaming. I'll... Yeah, sort of. <laughs> okay, now, now I think here will be better. A little bit better. Okay, we can now. <laughs> Let me see here. If ah. I'm the living room now, so so hopefully. You want color? Yeah, yeah. You look. It looks better. It sounds better as well. Yeah. All right. Really? Yeah, yes. Yeah, man. Yes. Oh, okay. Then, yes, yeah. then I will talk to Unify. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. All right. So who's so the few, best? Player? I was saying, yeah. few, hmm. few can go abroad. I think, in my opinion. Right. Few. Any names you would like to mention? Like at the airport, or or just or just in general. Uh, anyone, anyone. Yeah. I think the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper, Abe. Radi, is it okay? Yeah, can but not like one hundred percent. He he just need to work more, and but he have the potential. If we're talking about potential, mm-hmm. okay, you know, okay. have it, yeah. So we we have another question. Uh, this one apparently is from Gavin. Uh, Right. So he says that you will know who he is. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about your goal this season. How did it feel to score for the team? Yeah, uh, Gavin. Gavin is my is one of my guy that been following me. I think since uh, Slovakia, oh, okay. uh, which is which is very nice. So the goal, yeah, yeah. After the goal, it was it was important game during important game against Saba, where where many people was just kind of if we. Were, we are going to make it or not so then when it happened it happened you know i've been i've been talking with also petrus since maybe six days before that game until i'm like fat like okay just like put it in this in this right spot put it here you know he's been also doing his best and then i guess it just came at the right time and in the important game yeah, it was a it was a very hurtful goal because I'm a Saba fan. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see, I can see. It. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can see. It. So Abi, go ahead, man. You have another question about Habib, right? Yeah. Okay, Habib, and also some of the young players in Tengada. But first, Habib, I mean. Uh, do you think Habib Harun is one of the best midfielders in Asian football right now? Because he seems to defensive work he can do, he can make good passes, he seems to be all an all an all all around kind of player. And what about the other young players in Tengara? I know Faisal has been doing well, he's 24 this year. And then there are other players, Shafiq Ismail, Azam Azmi Murad, you mentioned Abe as well. 
So yeah, you know, maybe you can share your thoughts on this place. These young players have been uh, impressive for Tengganu this season. Yeah, he can be. He can be like he can be. We can consider him as one of the best midfielder right now in the in the league. You know, so and in, also it feels very good that he play for he play for us. You know, so for me he's a he's a he's a quality player. He's a quality player and help us a lot in the middle. You know, during throughout throughout all the season. So hopefully he can also finish finish it like that. So um, I think we are now going to move on slightly. We've talked about your time, you know, uh, your, your early roots as well as your time in Terengganu. Um, but uh, you know, one thing that I noticed when before we started this, uh, before we started researching you, when I go through your social media, um, throughout your career, you've always been someone who's preached this motto of unity, and uh, you know how we are all the same, how football brings us together and unites people. Uh, I think this is something we all agree that uh, football can unite people, but what can football do better to combat racism, especially in Asia? Wow, uh, kind, of, kind of tough to answer, but like there's, there's a few details, but for me, you know, like, like I don't know, I don't know if it's, if it's just in Africa or what, but we kind of hate. Like we kind of hate you and me. I don't see any race on people. Or for me, like human beings are human being. You know, you never, you like we never see a like a pink. Uh, I would say a white blood or yellow blood or like you know all blood are the same, right? So I I think there is like many things that people need to to, to need to need to put on you know especially in this kind of like racism thing and stuff you know you know we cannot control everyone we cannot also shut them out of people who are be like behind their phone or in the stadium but i mean also the federations also need to like need to make act not just like posting on social media or stuff no they need to ban they need to take actions you know like real action you know if you put like one heavy ban on like some people on that, I mean, it can it can help. I'm not saying they can stop it because it's it's hard to stop because uh, also for me people like we are like human beings can be born like hating or like with like racism. They are talked. They are talked by how they were raised. For me, they just need to take action, like and and serious action, you know, serious action because those things like. I cannot like I can't really take it. I don't take it myself, you know. Some people say, "Oh no, it's okay." No, for me, it's not okay. For me, it's not. That's that's my that's my personal view. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And right. it's just like yeah, a concern. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It just concerns me, you know. Many people will say, "Oh no, it's okay." Blah 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 blah. Okay, it's okay for you. Maybe like if you put yourself in my shoes, you you like okay. Who, me, I'm black and I'm proud to be black. That I know, you call me black. I already know that I'm black. It's fine, but for me, it's just people need to take actions, you know. And and they they don't take it seriously as in is in America or Europe, you know. Mm -hmm. That that like what I realize, not just in Malaysia, in like it happened to some player in Vietnam. Also same, you know. We went to play in one one city. They did the same, but people for them is it's okay to say, it. Mm -hmm. and no one take actions. So for me, it's just the fact that they must take action and then heavy actions and see how that will will be, you know, step by step. Right, right. right. And uh, I mean, I think uh, on a personal note, you know, when I, as when I see video photos that you post, uh, you always have a lot of positivity. You know, there are pictures of you, with, you know, children from Vietnam, Vietnam. where you're saying they're very curious about you and you taught them. Uh, you know, you taught them a bit about yourself. And what, I mean, what's the happiest story that you have when you, you know, talk or engage with people from other races, other cultures? Yeah, many, many, like many, many things. Like, um, you know, some people, like some kids, they don't know 
because where they live, they never see a foreign or they never they never see any other race than than their race. You know, even they go to school, they make them believe that no, African like black, they are thief. They are thief. That's what they are taught. Mm. So I don't blame them. So you just need to like show them by action that no, that is wrong. You need to show them like in a good way. So they come, they like they've been like touching. Oh, your hair! Can I touch their touch and and I touch their hair too? I say, them. They're like, I can you touch? I say, okay, touch. No problem. Those one, like, wasn't like racist. That that just like lack of knowledge. Right, right. They're curious. They want to know. You know? Yeah. yeah. Yes, and one of one of the happiest part is my first year in Vietnam. Uh, our our kid man. It's from uh, it's from a village, right? So he don't know any English, but he been seeing foreign the team coming out. So we just have this kind of connection that we we had in my in, in Vietnam. That it was it was incredible because he don't speak English. So then I have to teach him every day one word, mm-hmm. one word, word by word, word by word. You know, and he's he's from Vietnam. You know, I could say that that was. And then every day we have to make jokes and post it. Then some other people were like taking it, putting it on their TV. All this, you know, that was one of the happiest things that that I that I had about. So, Papi, you sent us the two videos. Is it okay if we put that up? Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, just just to tell everyone at home what what uh, Papi is talking about. Give me a minute. Two, three, four. Okay, okay. Yeah, and another one coming here. Let me see if I can get it up. Okay. Yeah, in three days. It's loading. Fine. <laughs> come back. Right. So, so uh, this is the kid man you're talking about, right? What's his name? His name is Tuang. Tuang, but but I gave him a name, Tom. Tom. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, those those things happen because every country have goods and bads. In my country, you have uh, these bad people. So you just try to keep keep it like, my mentality, I just try to keep it positive, you know. We all have a problem somewhere in our family, in our life, but uh, life, uh, life don't wait for anyone. You see it for your problem, you stick on it, life just move on. Yeah, yeah. And one day you will die. So why not just to try to think positive and stay positive, you know, no matter what. Like, that's me. That's how I think. Yeah, Can you hear me? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, okay. can, 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 sorry. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, when it comes to issues or even about the game, you know, you're very vocal about it. And I've seen it on your social media, you know, you're very open about things and so on. Um, but in Malaysia, I mean, among the professional players, uh, there is still a certain amount of pessimism when it comes to raising points, for example, like racism or issues pertaining to the game, like, you know, uh, salary issues or even, you know, referring relations. Players are not uh, forthcoming about it. They are afraid that, you know, an action will be taken. Clubs will say, don't say anything and so on. So, how do you, how, what would you suggest to break that? You know, why do you, uh, what, uh, you know, why do you think players are not, you know, opening up? They still remain in the cocoon, and what they should do to open up, you know, and all that. Yeah, is is first of all for me is is personality, mm. personality, and and maybe they're scared to talk, scared to talk, and then maybe they're scared of like losing losing their contract or something, or maybe people will 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 like look at them in a, like in a bad way. You know, because if you don't if you don't speak in like in certain situation, people will never know. You know, so if you keep it for yourself, it can be uh, can be a sickness. You know, I can I can tell you that from uh, from uh, from myself when I speak about it. Then many amount of player like texted me saying, oh. Finally, we see like someone who speaks. 
Well, I said, well, I didn't, I didn't do it for you. I, I mean, <laughs> it, it's nice to say, but I didn't even like know that there was some people here that who were like scared to speak. I don't know the reason. Only them they know. But for me, you know, players have rights. The teams have rights. The leagues have rights. So all, 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 all goes together. You know. We are not like uh, just machines. You just have to be like remote, like like remote. Or oh, they push. Uh, they place A is A, Z is Z. No, I have to also like unity. You know, unity also. You know, for me, if if like every captain of of a team, they create maybe something like a group. You know, call it with by name. Have their like structure. Like create like hire lawyers in case of like if some problem have if a player have like problem, let's go to this guy so he will like report it uh, professionally to the league. That is also a solution. You know? We always have things to improve and to exchange ideas. You know, to be able to receive and also to be able to speak. Also to accept. You know, we just have to put like the egos away, and and be in the same direction. Yeah. Okay, one more question for me, because for someone who is vocal like you, uh, I mean, anyone, for example, you know, when they share a comment, when they have an opinion, there will be two sides of you know opinion saying that you know you are wrong, some saying you are right. But there will be the hurtful comments. So, how did you deal with this aspect of it? You know, how, did it have a bearing on you emotionally, or you're like, you know, you know what? People have their opinion. Let's just accept it. Let's just, you know, move on from it. How do you take this? Yeah, personally, I, you know, at first you will see sometimes some some bad comment or or mm -hmm. bad tag. But it, at the moment, like at the moment, I want to just like say something, but I say, oh, okay, hold on. Let me let me calm down a little bit, you know. If it's like related to football, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't answer. I don't speak. I don't take it like I don't take any emotion because football go with a critics sometimes. And you take it like if if the critics is good, you take it. If it's bad, also you just take it. If it's just about about the football, right? Some will just go above that, like above the football, go to to like to race or go back to your country all the stuff like is those one you just have to deal it like directly you know directly and then make a report to your club and and see you know but but emotionally no emotionally or like mentally no i'm i'm past the stage that i cannot like what was past is like harder and tougher than was left so that that kind of shake me or like shake my head now okay now Pape, back to football you know the Malaysia cup is going on and Tengano, you know what an excellent performance nine three on aggregate or something else so you know this is your first experience in the Malaysia cup you know Tengano performed very well so how has that journey been so far? And the next game, you're facing the defending champions, Kuala Lumpur. So, you know, we'd love to hear your take on it, on, you know, that the game against Pahang and the upcoming game against Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the game against, against Pahang was, be, even before the game, m many people like around, like, you know, around mm -hmm. was giving Pahang as like favorite, you know, like ah. maybe, maybe like, maybe a Pahang will beat them because they got another players like a foreign player who are like naturalized so you know they been they were like a different team you know we knew they were a different team but we just on our work and and believe that like no one like in front of us we if we stick to our plan we can make something happen then on the first game after 40 seconds that uh, kept our score well, I, I'm like, wow, it's too early, man. So I said, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I was shocked. So I'm like, okay. Then 2-0, I said, well, 
we we finish this one. Yeah, we just we don't give up. Then after that, the second leg or so, they were saying, you know, even some of the player that I know I personally like I've been talking, you know, they were reminding me about uh, PSG and and Barcelona. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told okay. them, yeah. I told them, I told them, anything is possible, and we don't take yeah. the first game. We don't take it for granted. We just, we just, we play like square game, and that's what we did. Even though the the field wasn't like like that good with the with, with the heavy rain, but we we couldn't play the way we wanted to play. So we just had to change it and just look for the. For the possible goals and get to the next to the next game, you know. So we, we're going to face the defending champion. We know we played them. I think two uh, two time already. I think two time, no? In the league, yeah, twice. Mm. Twice, and trust me, they're, they're not easy team to play. They're not easy team to play. They have their own plan, and they they played very well. So let's see. Let's see. We we also lose. Were well, my pair in the like, in the in the defense, so. But I guess the player like who coming in also. Just have to level up. They, they, like desire. It's all about desire. We just have to put desire and stick our plan. Uh, yeah, but like no pressure, nothing. Trust me, like no pressure, nothing. You know. We just do what we have to do. Speaking about Tangana, I just wanted to ask you this because uh, this season, you know, based on what I've seen on social media, Tangana fans can be vocal and they've backed the team from start till the end. I mean, till now, you know, whether it's Nafuzi, whether it's Faisal, whether it's the foreign players, you know, they have been demanding the management that, you know, you need to respect these players, extend their stay and so on. For you as a player, seeing fans having such a say, you know, being so vocal, uh, how important is that for you as a professional? Yeah, it's very important. It's very important to to see like fans like that, to be very good and to have a big impact in the team, you know, because they are the one, I mean, they are, they are a big part of this team, you know, from like what I learn and from what I see. So, I mean, we need to respect them, you know, no matter what, even though sometime at the beginning, when things weren't going well, we heard all kind of things about the team. But we just have to shut our mouth and work. You know, you you have to do the talking on the field, and let them do the talking, talking up there. But at the end, they will be always behind you. You know, so it's it's important for me. It's, it's important, and then the management or or like whoever it is also need to listen to them and and work with them because it's very important. Especially here in the city, in this team. Yeah. So, Pape, uh, now we are going to move to the final segment, which is the most, I think it's a more fun, casual thing where we kind of find about, about you as a football fan, you know. So, we're going to ask you a series of very short questions, uh, rapid fire questions, and the trick is you have to give your answer as short and as quickly as possible. Right. So the the first question, actually, we are going to go to a fan question. So sometimes, you know, a lot of players have superstitions. I think not only African football, a lot of footballers have superstitions. Uh, do you have any pre-match rituals or routines? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, like saying, listen, like listen, listen to to music and nap. nap a lot. <laughs> That's it, you know, pray before game. That's it. Mm -hmm. so yeah. How long do you nap? <laughs> oh. oh, maybe from after lunch until the video session, like maybe three hours. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. That's, that's a long nap. <laughs> yeah, it is. usually they say 40 minutes, but no, 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 no. I need like three or minimum two. Oh, okay, minimum two. All right. Uh, so, who's your favorite player of all time? Favorite player? Uh, that's like overall. Overall, depends, that depends. all time, all time favorite. Oh, all time favorite, Messi. 
All right. Yeah. Good. Good answer. Yeah. Right. Okay. Who is the most underrated player of all time? Whew. That's hard to tell, man. Underrated <laughs> player. Wow. 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 Hard to tell, man. Hard to tell. All right. Okay. Okay. It's a difficult question. Good. That means we managed to stump you. <laughs> Uh, okay, so who is the best player you've played with? Best player I played with Joko. Yes, okay. Uh, tell tell us a bit about that. <laughs> yeah, we played together in Tampa. Tampa Bay, yeah, man. Best like good player, man. Even though he was 36, I think, at that age, but you can still see quality, composure positivity and the most the most thing like that 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 i learned from this type of uh, player is like the way he's humble all right all right yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think joe cole has got quite a good podcast as well so yeah it's yeah. worth a listen yeah, he's got a good show yeah. uh, the way he's humble man like he will come to the local room say hi to everyone shake hand go oh. like for, yeah the player that i play with yeah with Okay. okay. The best player you've played against? Wayne Rooney. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> yeah, it is true, man. Like the first five minutes, five, ten minutes, man, the guy was moving from side to side, like, but with a, with a smartness, I'm like, oh, today will be a problem. <laughs> but let me just let me just try to stop him to not score you know and then i have to be very aggressive on him to just to try to bring his power down because i know that if he's experienced he have more experience than me mm -hmm. he right. played at the highest league highest like competition world cup champions league so you just learn and they push you after that like you just say yourself i have to work more yeah, because the way that guy moves, man, oh, is something else. Is something how, else. how strong is Wayne Rooney? I mean, did you feel his physical presence? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I feel it, but he couldn't beat me with the physical. Uh -huh. right. it's just, he's physical, but like it's just like in maybe 10 seconds. Like you feel that the guy's strong. For example, before he jump, before I jump, he would just give me like a push you know a little push a little push of like five seconds then i will i will be late and the ball will go i say oh then why i'm missing this ball today second time same then you know then i say okay let me give him a space and stuff but hey one of the best players that i play against all right i play also against i play also against Evan which but he was he was just like most like walking you know I don't know why. That no, that game, that game. We, due to all the respect, man. You know, due to all the respect. But that game, I, I guess, he just was just like walking, passing the ball. You know, not, not really, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he does that. Yeah, he's he's moody sometimes, right? He's not yeah, interested. Yeah, yeah. He's not. Interested. Yeah, that day, that day he was moody, and that was good for us. <laughs> but when he switches on, yeah, I, play, I play also against Samaras, who play in. Uh. Yes, yeah. so, yeah, Samaraj and all the ones like there was an ex Juventus striker also was playing there. Uh, Amuri, Amuri, something Amuri. Ah, Amuri, yes, oh. yes, yeah. okay. And many others that I won't forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, those are, I think those are some huge names. Wayne Rooney and Joe Cole, yeah. Like huge and, 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 and very tough, you know, very, very tough, you know. So if you, if you play against those ones, then for me, yeah, for me, that's what I learned and what I teach myself, you know. After learning and then watching the videos, I see the mistake I did. I'm like, no, no other striker can, I won't accept no other striker will, like, okay, you can pass, but it won't be easy. All right, all right, all right. Uh, the next uh, one comes from another viewer. Your best post-match victory meal. <laughs> so what's the best meal you've had after? Wow, interesting. I just, just a tea, a, a tea from Senegal. Just a tea. tea from Senegal. Okay. Yeah, I don't eat often when after game. I cannot eat that much. Oh, okay. So, can you tell us what's special about the team from Senegal? 
Mm. I don't know. We grow we, like we're born. We've been making it for our family and stuff, and we grow up with it, and it's just stay in our blood. Right. So, right, exactly. like this one. Oh, oh okay. Oh, that, oh, it looks like espresso. <laughs> yeah, dude, that yeah. looks good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like this. It's green tea that we boil. We put some leaves. That's very interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, okay. So the next section, we are going to ask you in these big derbies between some of the big, you know, global teams, who do you support during these games? Okay. So the first game during Inter Milan versus AC Milan, who do you support during this game? Mm, uh, Milan, I say. Okay. Okay. Any reason why? Milan, it's just how they play, how they play and how they defend, like very, very tactical and strong. Yeah, 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 good. You know, Italy, um, Italy have, I think, the best teams, like tactically and like, defensive, they are the best Italian right, teams. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, so Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Barcelona, definitely. <laughs> you don't even need to ask the question. He said Lionel Messi. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So Avi is an Arsenal fan. So let's see where uh, Arsenal versus Tottenham. Oh, Arsenal. What do you, who do you support? Uh, I would say Arsenal. Say it louder. Say it louder. <laughs> 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 okay, all right, fair enough. Arsenal. Okay, yeah, okay. Arsenal. Okay, so Manchester United versus Liverpool. Oh, Manchester United. All ah, right, okay, yes, no right. matter how, right, no matter how, because Liverpool let let uh, Sergio Mane go. So, I think he was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> finish, <laughs> finish, that's it. <laughs> Okay. No, that, that's a great answer. That's a great answer. So another one from our viewer again, Football Shirts United. Who is your least favorite again. team? Yeah, Gavin again. Yeah, Gavin, yeah, 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 Gavin this again. guy, man, this guy is something else, man. I can tell about this guy. <laughs> like a true supporter. Least right. favorite right. team. Yeah. Which means like the one I support the less. Yeah, the team you hate the most, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't hate anything. Okay. Right, right. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You never know, you might sign for one team one day. You know, if you name the team. <laughs> <laughs> when I retire, maybe. Yeah, yeah, when you retire, exactly. Mm. So, uh, now uh, we'll ask you to pick between your favorite centre-backs, of course, since you are a centre-back, right? So, who's the better centre-back in your opinion? Virgil van Dijk or Vincent Company? <sighs> Vincent Company for me. Right, right. Uh, any yeah. reason why? Any reason why is consistency over years, mm -hmm. and the yeah. the way he's tough and the way the way he read the game. All right. All right. Yeah, and, okay. Yeah. Um, Nesta or Cannavaro? You mentioned just now the Italians, right? Yeah. Oh. That's a pair like you cannot you cannot <laughs> separate. You know. They both, uh, they go together. They but, go I together. Say, okay. but I say, but we say a carnival. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Even though okay. Nesta, when Nesta was coach, coach in America, I, I play against his team like many times. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I would say carnival. Okay. All right. Then uh, Barcelona, a very good Barcelona player, PK or Puyol. Very good Barcelona player. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Who, no, no. who is the pick on Puyol? Who is your favorite? Who is your favorite? But they are different, though. But you know, fa like favorite Puyol. Yeah, favorite. Yeah. Puyol. 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 Okay, I think this is the the, the final one is the toughest. Aliu Sise or Kalido Kulibali? <laughs> Aliu Sise, like the coach? No, no. Aliu Sise, the defender, when he played the in two thousand and two. No, Ali Cesar was a midfielder. Oh, he's a Ali... midfielder. Yes. Ah, okay, defender, so we got that wrong. Ah. The, def the defender was uh, Pap Malik Job and uh, Pap Malik Job and Lamin Diata. Ah, sorry, it was Lamin Diata, yes. Lamin Diata or Kalido Kulibali? Kulibali. Kulibali. Okay. Right, right, right. 
Okay. So, uh, I think I, I am going to leave the final question for Avi. But before that, uh, we have another question from one of our viewers. Do you have a favorite band in Terengganu? Who's the any? Uh, AJK himself. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> 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 no, he knows. He knows. He knows. Like, truly, truly. Since I've been here, he's been supporting me, like, uh, personally, you know, bringing Senegalese flag all the time, following the team. So, yeah, himself, EGK. Brother, thank you so much for supporting this show as well. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, My yeah, pleasure. Yeah, yeah. My pleasure. And, uh, I appreciate it as well. Avi, the final question? Okay, what's next for Pape Diakite in terms of his career? What we are going to see next from Pape? Well, tough to answer also, but uh, what's the next? I guess just going to wait for what comes up. <laughs> That's it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, but until now, until now, I got, you know, I got few few weeks left, you know, my contract with Trenzanu. So nothing is said until now. So we're just gonna see, and then the rest I'm gonna leave it with, with my agent, you know, to deal with it, you know. What next? I don't, you know. Hopefully, you know, you're gonna see me around, but hopefully also not. We never know. <laughs> we are hopeful that you continue playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Would be my answer. You know, everything is possible. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. So, yeah. I mean, on, on that note, Pape, we want to thank you once again for joining the show today. Uh, My pleasure. Think, man. Yeah, we, we had so much fun. We had a lot of fan questions as well. Uh, and hopefully, you know, we can meet up one time in KL, you know, or something. But yes. I've been, I've been is always busy, you know. <laughs> no, no. If you come okay. down to KL, give me a call. We'll go for, for a meal or something. Okay, okay. okay I'll okay. make myself free for Pape. <laughs> And Logan, and Logan is staying in uh, in Sabah. No, he's staying in Ipoh. I'm That's staying in Pera. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pera. Yes, yes, yes. Pera. Uh, they're going to Super League, right? Next, next year. year. Next year. They're next year. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So maybe, maybe I'll join you as well when you guys come down to KL. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll join okay. you as well. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Fantastic. So again, we want to thank Papi. We want to thank all our viewers My for joining us. Yeah. And uh, see you everyone very, very soon. Good night from all of us. Good night, Abhi. Good night, Logan. Good night, man. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Thank you.